Hi and welcome to this video. In today's video, I want to show you what could be causing the fact that you have historical transaction uh, references that you want to import, like open invoices, for example, from another system onto NetSuite. Let's say you're moving to an ERP to NetSuite and you already have these invoices created. So you don't want to put new values to these invoices, like new references. You want to keep your historical transaction number so that uh, for the aging and for whatever, if there's a dispute, you can call the right reference. Some people will tell you to use this number as an external ID, but I will show you how to have your NetSuite invoices imported with these references instead of importing them, mapping the field maybe uh, correctly on the mapping from transaction number on your Excel document to the invoice number on NetSuite, but then not seeing the reference you expected, but instead seeing a weird numbering sequence that's got nothing to do with your Excel document. Now, the Excel document wants that to be CUIST INV uh, C182. Uh, so what you'll do is you'll go on to NetSuite before you do your import. Of course, if you imported the invoices incorrectly, just uh, delete them. And if you don't know how to mass delete invoices, just uh, send us uh, a comment and we can uh, have maybe a 30 minute call to show you how to do this faster than just one by one. But anyway, uh, to, uh, to prepare your environment for the import, you have to go to Setup, Company, Auto Generated Numbers. Click on that. So now go to the Document Numbers subtab. Scroll down to the transaction you are trying to uh, import. And right now, uh, it should be looking like this. So you can set the minimum digits you want to your invoice references. But now, let's not focus on this. Let's look at what number you are already on on NetSuite when you're looking at your environment. So if you already imported 34,582 invoices, then you're going to have to delete them and recreate them correctly because right now your invoice, your latest invoice number would be 34,582 and you want it to be showing this instead or whatever, maybe this one. Uh, 34582 with the CUS, INVC, etc. So what you need to do is you would need to uh, make sure that the allow override column has been ticked at the invoice line. So you want to allow override temporarily. Uh, so you save this. Okay. Once you save it, you'll be able to import your um, invoices or any transaction and now the the text you have in this transaction number on your excel document for example this here uh, you will be able to uh, see it now as the invoice reference number on netsuite which is uh, this here so instead of seeing a weird number here you're going to be seeing whatever you wanted to set from your Excel document. Now, it's not over yet. Once you've imported your, your invoices, you have to come back to Setup, Company, Auto-Generated Numbers, go back to your document numbers, scroll back down to your invoice, and now uh, you will remove the Allow Enable because you already imported that and you don't want users to change invoice references as they look at the invoice. You will see here that there will, it will most probably show the, the number of invoices you imported. So if you imported 34,582, this is what's going to show. But now you want the next invoice to create, you create on NetSuite manually or through whatever automation. You don't want that to show just 34,583, for example. Maybe you need to keep your prefixes, the prefixes you set on your previous invoices, uh, maybe there is a, a meaning behind this, so you want to keep this prefix. So what you'll do is you'll go back to your NetSuite um, auto-generated sequence, and then in the prefix on the first column, which is the prefix, what you'll do is you will paste the prefix here, and now what's going to happen is the next time you create an invoice on NetSuite, it's going to be C-U-S-I-N-V-C, 34583. So it's going to keep the sequence from your 
previous system onto NetSuite. If you don't do this, it's just going to show the number. Uh, don't forget to save, of course. And that's it. Uh, I hope that this was useful to you. If so, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you and goodbye.